Hello everybody, I've got bad news for you today. YouTube seems to be after my channel and it's not a joke. Normally my channel should have been terminated a few days ago as I received three community strikes in a span of 10 days. That is if I weren't successful in my dispute against the false trusted installer strike two years ago. This is practically the only reason my channel still exists on this platform and I'd like to talk about it in detail because Enderman is still in great danger and I don't know what to do at this point. Let's roll back to January of 2018. This was the first time I received a false community strike. Back then I only had 10,000 subscribers. Not a lot of experience with YouTube's automated bureaucratic system and generally I was just a child that loved reviewing malware. I still do and I'm still a hobbyist but here is where the problems initially arose. Back in January of 2018, YouTube auto-flagged three of my videos, uh, namely Poly Ransom Ransomware, uh, WannaCry Ransomware, and Bear Locker Ransomware. I don't exactly remember how it was called, but I, I'm absolutely certain it was something to do with the bears and lockers. None of these videos had any malicious intent whatsoever. They were just reviews of malware. I've always explained how they worked and showed removal process where applicable for those infected by it. Back then I did not include any links to samples either. And if memory serves me right, these were the ones that are irreversibly removed from the platform and to this day I don't have any backup of them. So the only people that might remember that situation are my old viewers or the first 10,000 subscribers of my channel. Back then I thought I was actually terminated and I waved goodbye to my previously public Discord server, saying that I received three false strikes, appeals to which were immediately rejected. However, back in 2018 YouTube had a way different strike system to what it is now and they could bulk remove videos for a single policy in exchange for a single strike. That was, I guess, nice, otherwise I would not be talking to you right now. Nonetheless, the videos I mentioned are lost to history, or if somebody recovers them, please email me. Uh, Poly Ransom was one of the best ransomwares I have ever reviewed to this day, and it was generally sad to see the videos removed for no reason from my channel. Uh, fast forward to 2021, since uh, the entire period until 2021 was rather chill, I just don't remember having any major issues until 2021. Uh, there were a couple of strikes, but the misunderstandings were easily resolved with YouTube. On March 24th uh, of 2021, YouTube removed my trusted installer video. And most of you might recall that. That was a hell of a ride. I have been disputing that strike for an entire year, to no avail. The video was showing off the trusted installer user in Windows, and the ways to access the trusted installer permissions using a process hacker plugin. It is very helpful to know for the people who'd like to modify system files on their licensed Windows installs. Essentially, I just showed off a plugin that made a Windows feature more easily accessible to a normal user. And I received a strike for that. The reason for the strike was um, the harmful and dangerous policy. and. Uh, after I demanded clarification, as per YouTube, the real reason behind the strike was the fact that I showed how to hack into social media accounts. Wonderful. So I'm using the local trusted installer permission on my system to hack into someone else's remote social media account. There is not a single tangent between these horrible claims and what I've actually shown in the video. It took at least eight so-called human reviews and a year of blood, sweat and tears to reinstate that falsely removed video. The video was finally reinstated on March 28th of 2022, one year and four days later. Calling this a false strike is an understatement. There's clear abuse of the strike system within YouTube's moderation team. 7 out of 8 people in their moderation team confirmed with a straight face that I was indeed hacking social media accounts using the trusted installer permission in Windows. That incident took one year out of my life to resolve. 
Not to say I wasn't able to continue uploading content, but it was surely at the very least demoralizing. I really hated to see that community guidelines warning block in my YouTube studio for an entire year for doing absolutely nothing wrong. I will never forget how YouTube fucked me over with Trusted Installer and the way my community was outraged just like me. This was a completely unjustified, stupid strike that they owe me and my community for. Fast forward to 2023. Back in 2022, I do remember they took down the garbage malware video for the harmful and dangerous policy. However, I did manage to reinstate it quite quickly. I think it happened on March 24th, 2022, just four days before the trusted installer got reinstated. So I got like a two, in, two for one special. If you know what I mean. Uh, either way, May 15th, just two weeks ago, I received my first community strike for the video I've uploaded in 2018, I think. It's called Fake Adobe Premiere Crack, ransomware in parentheses, and it's a review of the Infinity Lock ransomware. That video merely shows the process of ransomware encryption and decryption using a special tool. The description contains a link to the database of malware samples for research and analysis. It's hosted on GitHub by me, each sample is password protected and the password is hidden behind a clear disclaimer stating that you should not misuse the samples within that repository. Making this clear for those smooth-brained people at YouTube or wherever that justify the strike by telling me I'm sharing malware. WirusTotal, WirusShare, any.run or any other reputable cybersecurity service shares live samples with their users. That means any of you who have once put a virus total link in any of your descriptions, you're at risk. Good luck. Besides, it's nothing out of ordinary to share more samples for education and analysis. The only problem with these services, though, is that they're paywalled, and their price is nearing five digits per year. Uh, that's not easily accessible to a mere mortal online. I'm sharing samples so that they are available to hobbyist researchers. Uh, it very well could help grow cybersecurity experts in the future. This is the entire reason I'm sharing samples and it's the entire reason I started my channel, honestly. I wanted research material to be easily accessible to anyone who wants to try themselves in that area without a need of gigantic payment or a personal invite link, like on, on Virusshare. Moreover, the video clearly states that there is no link to Infinity Lock in the description, as it's a private sample that I received personally from Arizona Code, the creator of Deria Lock, back in 2018. With that out of the way, the policy my Infinity Lock review was striking for was community guidelines. They don't even bother to explain the policy I violated. The link to the policy in the creator studio leads to the full list of community guidelines and they probably want me to wager a guess on what exactly I violated. And well, since they are so nice to hand the initiative to me, I'd say it probably violates the nudity policy. Yeah, that video shows quite a bit of naked yoga, if you know what I mean. I was ready to deal with that major headache after the trusted installer situation, and at that point I just collected myself and filed an appeal, in hopes for the best. A day passes, three days pass, a week passes. After a week of waiting, I finally get a response from YouTube. In form of a fucking second community guideline strike. May 23rd, 2023, YouTube took down one of the most fan-favorite projects that even made it into mainstream media for the first time in my life, called Activating Windows with ChatGPT. Yes, if you've ever wondered why that video no longer exists on YouTube, YouTube took it down. Well, what's the deal now, YouTube? The policy the content was removed for was harmful and dangerous. Oh boy, we meet again. And so, I immediately filed an appeal against this false strike on the video with 500,000 views and an overwhelmingly positive feedback from all the news sources and all different tech communities. Let's read what load of horseshit YouTube provides as a reason here. Content that shows viewers how to gain unauthorized free access to audio content, audiovisual content, full video games, 
software or streaming services that normally require payment is not allowed. This policy applies to videos, video descriptions, voice crack, comments, live streams, and any other YouTube product or feature. Keep in mind, this list is not comprehensive. <clears throat> All right then, let's discuss this hilariously brain-dead take. So my video depicts a Windows 95 key generation algorithm that I feed to ChatGPT in order to generate a valid Windows 95 key. Let's start with the fact that Windows 95 is abandonware. Uh, it's 28 years old and Microsoft doesn't give a single shit. They discontinued that operating system 22 years ago. Since then, uh, the Windows 95 key algorithm is public knowledge and there are a bunch of videos on YouTube that even show reversal of the Windows 95 licensing manager in order to extract the algorithm. There is a great video on the subject by Stack Smashing with 2 million views. There is a video on it by Flytech as well with 300,000 views. And there are way more videos starring the Windows 95 key algorithm, which should not be taken down. I'm repeating, I'm saying that explicitly, they should not be taken down. Instead, they should be promoted because this is useful content as opposed to like some child garbage, some Elsa Gate or, you know, other naked yoga stuff YouTube serves you. You learn a lot by just watching these videos. And I think a video of mine also excels in that regard, judging by the community reception. I have to note that Flytech was striking for his Windows 95 key generation video. However, he was able to reinstate it in a short period of time. It took him like a week at most. However, his video is no longer monetized, which is also bullcrap, but that's a story for a different day. Now, if Microsoft were to strike me for disclosing their meme licensing algorithm, that would be a different story. I would accept that because it's their intellectual property after all, but they do not care and they don't mind anyone reversing their really old operating systems that were discontinued and serve no threat to the, to the newer products of theirs. And YouTube striking me for disclosing the turbo secret Windows 95 licensing mechanism is simply garbage. This was my first community strike after the warning strike per YouTube, therefore I could not upload any videos for a week. Today is May 13th. Uh, I have fully served my completely unjustified week penalty and I can finally upload a video ranting about this on my poor main channel. Should I also note that YouTube was of no help at all when contacted via Twitter and YouTube chat? I literally talked to a brick each time I contacted them. Or well, a brick wall would be a better analogy. Back on May 23rd, when the second video of mine got taken down and the appeal against the first unjustified strike had been ignored for a week, I already felt in danger because technically I was two weeks away from termination. That is, if YouTube continued with their weekly routine of striking my innocent videos. But instead, YouTube decided to triple down. Literally. On May 24th, I received a false DMCA strike against another one of my projects called the State of Windows. I filed a counter notification to that strike four times and each and every single fucking time YouTube returned it to me because they claimed I didn't have enough evidence to prove that I own my own fucking video. Not only that, they also suspected I'm misusing their counter notification system, which if you do, they fucking terminate your channel. And though I have to tell you that my counterclaim was filed in accordance with the US legal language and all that, every time I submitted my counterclaim it got rejected simply because they didn't like it and they just said no to me. You think that was enough for me, huh? Of course not. On May 25th, YouTube abused their harmful and dangerous policy once again. And they were so merciful not to apply yet another strike on my channel, because that would time me out for two more weeks. The video in question is called Running DOS Applications on Windows 10 x64. They removed the link to my version of compiled NTVDM in the description under that video, stating that if an external link goes to a site that contains spam, scams, and other deceptive practices, it's not allowed on YouTube. In order for your link to be approved, 
you'll need to request a review of your link from the webmaster team. Follow the steps on the site to get started. My website does not contain any of that, but due to continuous abusive reports, it's been flagged malicious. I guess Google doesn't want to check what's on the website. Uh, the website containing malware in its name is good enough to justify the malicious flag being set for them. In total, I have received a strike per day for three consecutive days, not including the one from May 15th. I have uploaded an explanatory video on my secondary channel with 36,000 subscribers as I had practically nothing else to do. I had to make that situation public or else YouTube would just terminate my channel in a few days, I feel like. Also, a fun fact, YouTube did respond to my rant in the comment section. They told me they are going to look into this situation. Since then, four days have passed and nothing has changed. Literally nothing. The appeals I've submitted are in review for 15 and 7 days respectively. And the YouTube chat along with the YouTube's Twitter representatives ask me to wait until they review the appeal, which they clearly are not reviewing. Are they asking me to wait till my channel gets terminated? I don't get it. They're holding these appeals specifically so I can't dispute the rejected ones and they could gather up enough strikes to terminate my channel. This is how it feels like. Once the issue has been publicized, they temporarily stopped striking my main channel, but they could continue at any time, so my channel is still at a grave risk of termination. Honestly, I feel like YouTube is racist. I am Russian. I am. And this could be why they're rejecting my current notifications, holding my appeals unreviewed, and gathering strikes to terminate my channel. This sounds pretty reasonable, as the other victim of false strikes that I can come up with extemporaneously is Mental Outlaw, which he's an African American, and we all know YouTube moderation suffers from favoritism. Even though I'm Russian, don't ask me about my political views, because I simply don't fucking care. Somebody at YouTube might, and I'm happy for them. Nevertheless, this favoritism has to stop. Let's sum the things up. Here's the resume for you. In the past 10 days, my channel has received three false community guideline strikes, as well as one false DMCA strike that I was able to settle with the claimant. Weirdly enough, the community strike appeals are being held without any appropriate review for weeks at this point, but the DMCA counter notification claims were immediately rejected without any review four times in a row. And my channel was set up for termination in a different way for the counterclaim DMCA abuse. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm the one abusing the system. YouTube is well informed of what's happening to my channel and they do nothing to help. Nothing! In fact, I haven't heard from them since they commented under my video on the secondary channel. I'm really tired of this situation, but I will fight until the end. This already takes a huge toll on my mental health and I'm not proud to announce that. However, if nothing is done in this absurd situation, my channel is simply going to get terminated for no reason. Except for maybe being of nationality that YouTube moderation doesn't like. And everybody's just simply going to forget me. Maybe if I were, like, Bosnian, they would just review the appeals and be done with them. It's easier for them to do so, and it's obvious that YouTube purposefully ignores all my prayers to save my channel. As such, I have nowhere to go except to ask my community to help. The stakes are really high, I have a channel with a large following and an established community, so I guess the only way to make YouTube listen is to get large YouTubers to cover it. I really don't want to lose my channel to someone's bias and it would largely help if you shared this video everywhere you could so justice could be served. It seems to me that in 2023, the only real possible way to get fair judgment on YouTube make a public outcry, and as much as I hate to do that, this is my only remaining option. As for the videos, past two months I've been working on the key generator for Windows XP, and the video for it is pretty much ready to be uploaded, but I'm scared for my life to do it. It's going to turn against me on YouTube real quick, and might just give YouTube a better chance at terminating my channel. As such, I uploaded the source of my keygen to GitHub and I wrote the paper on Windows XP activation in the README file, so the knowledge is not lost. 
So if you want some juicy content that I've been working on for the past two months, check these GitHub links out. We got some media coverage going, which is very cool. And for now, we're working closely with Neo Desktop and the other community members to make the ultimate Windows key generator. Of course, adhering to the unwritten laws of abandonware. So <coughs> we're not going to crack Windows versions after Server 2003, which aren't yet considered abandonware, so to speak. Anyway, I'm very excited for that project and I wish I could cover it in depth on YouTube, but I will only do it once YouTube removes these malicious false community strikes from my channel. If you'd like to learn more, check these links out, and that's all I have to say. Stop with the fucking favoritism, YouTube. You would be such a better platform.